Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another edition of Ramadan for Better Health. Uh, we appreciate you tuning into the program. We've can been uh, having this program specialized to provide uh, medical information to help you be more successful in performing this very important pillar in Islam, fasting for the holy month of Ramadan. Uh, today we're going to be talking about abdominal pain. We are joined by our brother here. Uh, he's a specialist. He's a surgical consultant, uh, Dr. Tamar Rashti. Assalamu alaikum to you, Dr. All right. So all of us at one time or another have a stomach ache, have some kind of abdominal pain. Uh, talk to us about this. How do we know if it's serious and how do you categorize these types of, you know, the common pains we have to other things? Abdominal pain is a complaint of every one of us at some point of time mm. in his life. Mm. Um, this abdominal pain may be subtle stomach ache or abdominal uh, colic, maybe sharp, severe, stabbing pain, persistent, continuous. Mm. Uh, how to know? That's, uh, I have a problem. Mm. This is a problem. Mm -hmm. I should call my doctor. I should visit my doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, there is some uh, indicators uh, that I should uh, call my doctor or visit my doctor tonight. Like having fever with abdominal pain, mm -hmm. like having repeated vomiting with mm -hmm. abdominal pain, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, having uh, repeated urination, increased frequency of urination mm -hmm. uh, above the normal or um, increased uh, painful urination or severe constipation, these things, if I accompany uh, abdominal pain, uh, we should call our doctor uh, or visit the doctor at night, at this night. Mm. But uh, what uh, could trigger me to call my doctor now mm. or visit him now, mm -hmm. emergency? Mm. Red flags. <laughs> red flags, mm. four red flags. Mm. Uh, four red flags to visit the doctor now or call him now. First is vomiting of blood. Mm. Mm -hmm. Second is black stools. Mm -hmm. Third, is severe pain or persistent pain in a pregnant female. Mm -hmm. Fourth, is difficulty in breathing mm -hmm. or what uh, doctors call dyspnea, accompanying the pain. And we shall uh, say that recurrent pain and persistent pain is only uh, is also very important landmarks patient should call doctor for him. Most of us take it easy and take some of uh, on-the-counter medications mm -hmm. uh, like analgesics or aspirin or like this. Mm -hmm. And if even more serious pains will uh, go uh, with this analgesics. But the recurrence or the resistance of pain or the accompanying symptoms, like we have said fever and vomiting and uh, uh, or other symptoms, is a red flags to call the doctor. Okay, so in Ramadan, I'm sorry, we have an unhealthy culture, an un unhealthy habit of eating too much to break the fast. Yes. All right. So all of us have a little discomfort, you know, if we do this. Uh, but what you're talking about is something entirely different. You're talking about severe piercing pains in the stomach. You sh these are red flags. And persistent pain. And persistent. Not mm. going with moving or going to the bathroom and like this. Mm. Mm. Persistent mm. pain accompanied by other symptoms, not only pain. Mm. Uh, the pain in the abdomen may arise from many conditions. Just uh, uh, increase in the gastric acid or gastritis, uh, reflux or and heartburn, uh, some uh, inflammations uh, in the colon, like colitis or other things, uh, some colics due to over distended abdomen with food. Mm. Uh, these are simple causes. May be uh, a stone in the gallbladder causing pain, Inflammation in the appendix causing pain, stone in the ureter or the kidney causing pain, mm. uh, some mu much causes. And the famous pain of menstruation in females is also uh, to be uh, noted. Uh, this much causes, but what are the serious? When to call the doctor? And when I visit my doctor, what will be done? Doctor, let's talk about the, a very small organ in the body, the gallbladder. Yes. Uh, what is it and what is its uh, purpose and function? The gallbladder is a pear shaped uh, organ or hollow viscous uh, situated just uh, below the liver. Below the liver. It's this attached to the liver actually mm. and it is a storage organ. This is the green uh, yes, organ? Yes, that's uh -huh. a green organ. Mm. It's colored green in relation to its content. It's a storage organ for the pile. Mm. The pile is the fluid secreted by the liver 
to digest and help the absorption of the fat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, when the liver is synthesizing or making the bile, it needs a storage site to be secreted into the GIT when we eat fat meals. This storage site is the gold bladder. Mm -hmm. And some people, due to many causes, even some causes are not well known, mm -hmm. there is a stone or multiple stones is formed inside this organ. Mm -hmm. When we eat fat meals or meals containing fat, mm -hmm. this organ is trying to pour its content into the GIT and contract. When contract in the presence of a stone, it will lead to pain. Yeah. Uh, doctor, just to clarify, when you say fatty meals, you mean like when we're having a piece of chicken and we eat, or beef, and we eat that fatty meat yes. from, the, from the cow? Is yes. this what you even mean? This, even ah. this. Mm, okay. And little, more or less than this. Mm, mm -hmm. There is a sensor, the receptors know this is fat. So it say to the gallbladder that you should contract now to digest this fat. Mm. When the gallbladder contract, pain comes. This pain is characteristic. First, this pain comes after meals by half an hour to one hour. Ah, is this a photo of some stones? This is a stone. Mm. This red flag around the stone, meaning that the stone making inflammation around it. Mm -hmm. When the fat meals is taken after half an hour or one hour, mm -hmm. the, con the good brother contracts, the pain comes. Where is the pain? It's on the right side of the abdomen, anteriorly and upper, just below the right lower rib. Okay just below the right lower lip, pain after meal, and this pain is radiating to your shoulder mm -hmm. or your back. Mm -hmm. And some patients say it radiates to uh, my anterior chest wall. This collectively sites of radiation of this pain. So this is very helpful, doctor, because the stomach is on the left side. Yes. Right? And so if we have a pain after we eat that, that's on coming the right from the side, right side. And the radiating to the shoulder, yeah, right maybe, shoulder, uh -huh. this could alarm me mm. that I have a gold stone mm. and I should see a doctor. A doctor. Mm. What will the doctor ask about? Mm. Site of pain, timing of pain, radiation of pain. Mm. And this, what will the doctor ask from me of the investigations? He will ask about ultrasound. Ultrasonography is very sensitive to gold stones and very successful tool to diagnose gold stones. Above 97% mm -hmm. of gold stones is diagnosed by ultrasound. Okay. Now this is explaining the mechanism and how the pile is stored in the gold brother. Now this fat particles will call the gold brother through this enzyme CCK to pour its content through the gold bladder channels or the common bile duct into the duodenum to digest and to absorb the fat. Now the fat meets the bile in the duodenum mm -hmm. and the absorption uh, continues for the fat. After asking for ultrasound by our doctor, he will see the gallstone. If there is a rule, gallstone plus symptoms, especially pain, mm -hmm. means until now, surgery. Mm. Surgery, is there is any solution other than surgery? Yes, there is medications mm -hmm. like urgidoxycholic acid. Mm -hmm. uh, there is lithotripsy like renal stones and uh, ureteric stones. But this mm, routes of treatment, mild, successful, mm. not successful mm -hmm. to the end because mm -hmm. of the high recurrence rate mm. and the high failure rate mm. up till now or over the world. The only successful solution to treat the gold stones plus symptoms mm -hmm. is laparoscopic cholecystectomy. It's the golden standard to remo remove the gallbladder and the stones inside it by the laparoscope. Mm -hmm. Not like the renal stones or the ureteric stones. We remove the stones only because once the gallbladder is a stone forming and diseased, even if we remove the stones, we cannot leave the gallbladder. Now, I'm, I'm very curious about this term. We say gall stones. Gall stones. Now, does it really mean that they're like rock, uh, rocks? They, uh, so they like rocks. The, the, what is the material? Uh, well, the material is basically or intrinsically maybe uh, four types, mm -hmm. but the most common type is cholesterol stones. 
cholesterol stones. Mm. And there is mixed stones of cholesterol and other pigments. And there is uh, pigmented stones. Uh, this much types, but the most common is the cholesterol and the mixed stones. Chol chol cholesterol. So this is a connection to the fat that we consume, right? Yes. Uh, but so in some patients, even mm. if they not consume much fat, they have these stones. Mm. There is a not there is no strong relationship creation between mm. the intake and the formation I of see. stones. I see. I got it. I got yes. it. So so they're made of cholesterol. What, what were the other materials? Pigments of the gallbladder uh, formed from degradation of some blood products and like this. Mm. And bile salts, some salts and like mm. this. So whatever the case, they're very uh, uh, hard. Uh, some of them very hard. Some oh. of them friable. This is. An example of one case, mm. this patient is, uh, is having a bag of stones, wow. full of hard it's stones. Full. But some patients may have one small stone, mm -hmm. half centimeter, mm -hmm. and making the same symptoms. Mm. And maybe even more uh, risky. Wow. That was, I think I saw the measurement was about six, uh, is that centimeters? Yes, yes. Ah. And uh, even some of them have one small stone, three centimeters or four centimeters. Wow. That's it's different from patient to patient. Yeah, yeah, wow. Okay, so uh, if we have, I think the brothers uh, have another uh, uh, photo uh, to show us. These are the gallbladder stones. No, you should know that these stones and this gallbladder condition are affecting females much more than males, especially those females uh, between the age of 30 and 40 and those with multiple children uh, making pain but we are not going to surgery only for pain mm -hmm. we are going to surgery for other uh, indications mm. because these stones may harm the patient big harm other than pain like pancreatitis may cause inflammation of the pancreas which may be very harmful to the patient may cause obstructive jaundice may make the patient yellowish discoloration and jaundice and the harm the liver mm, mm. and may f cause m recurrent cholecystitis and the acute stage and fever and like this making y yeah, the yeah, life that, condition worse that last photograph had different sizes were all those stones some the small black ones and then these yes, really yes, yes, wow yes. that was really big yes, uh yes. when we come back we want to continue we're going to take a break right now when we come back doctor uh uh, we'll ask him to uh, talk more about the surgical um, uh, interventions and uh, when the doctors and the patients decide together to do a surgical intervention. We'll take a short break and then come back with the rest of the program. <laughs> لقد كان في قصصهم عبرة لأولي الألباب ما كان حديثا يفترى ولكن تصديق الذي بين يديه وتفصيل كل شيء وهدى ورحمة لقوم Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the program. We are joined by Dr. Tamir. Uh, he is a, a specialist, uh, a surgical consultant. We're talking about uh, abdominal pain, and the surprise is that all uh, sources or all root causes of abdominal pain is not the stomach. No, no. Uh. We are talking about it like stomachic in a general uh, comprehensive talk, but there is many causes. Mm. If you have been in the right side of the abdomen, will go stone like this mm. if it's up below the ribs mm. or if it's down on the right side of the abdomen and the persistent with fever it may be appendicitis mm. maybe some loin pain may be related to the kidney like infection in the urine or stones or some crystals in the urine we we, we you, you mentioned appendicitis yes I think we have do we have a video to show about appendicitis yes This is uh, inside the gallbladder? Or yes, the this is inside the gallbladder showing the stones. Mm. 
and the stone formation this one stone is going this is the effect of the stones on if long standing of the wall of the gold brother it looks like it's it fibrosed mm. and contracted ah, yeah, yeah. making it old mm. due to severe repeated inflammation mm -hmm. due to the injury of the stones to mm. the gold platter mm. okay can you talk a little bit about uh, appendicitis yes mm. appendicitis is b the most common surgical cause of abdominal pain the most common the most common cause making abdominal pain patient going into surgery mm -hmm. and its surgery is a simple surgery actually mm -hmm. could be done now laparoscopically small slow small incisions but the problem is the diagnosis okay. if the diagnosis is delayed it will be a problem because it may make the patient much troubles like peritonitis abscess in the abdomen rupture of the appendix mm -hmm. and this is harmful to the patient mm -hmm. how to know that i need to ask my doctor for advice and I suspect I have appendicitis. Pain. How pain of the appendicitis start? It start in most patients in the center of the abdomen, around the umbilicus. Mm -hmm. Then it travels, leaving the site to the right side of the lower abdomen. And this pain is persistent pain. It may be mild or moderate or severe. Mm. Not the severity is the question, mm. but the persistence of pain. Mm. Then it could be with fever and some nausea you need to vomit but mm -hmm. don't vomit mm -hmm. or vomiting actual mm -hmm. vomiting mm -hmm. it may be have uh, your patient may have diarrhea or constipation or polyuria or burning of urination all of these may be with or without appendicitis mm. but this right lower abdominal pain which is persistent and with fever and with vomiting should actually raise the suspicion for appendicitis then the patient will go to the doctor and the doctor will ask for ultrasound first. Mm -hmm. Then the golden standard to diagnose appendicitis, if it's not diagnosed clinically and by ultrasound, is a CT. The, so so to, 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 to do the diagnosis, the ultrasound is the golden standard? Like not. The, the ultrasound is the golden standard in the gold stones. And the gold but stones. the appendicitis, mm -hmm. the golden standard is a computed tomography. CT with contrast. Uh, what is that? What is computer? This is uh, a modality of investigation. Mm -hmm. When we are giving a contrast for the patient, mm -hmm. you go through the GIT, mm -hmm. orally, or injection contrast, mm -hmm. and we are taking pictures of every centimeter of the abdomen by X-ray machine, but modified to get more accurate and detailed view of the internal abdomen. Okay, got it. So they, they consume or have injected a material? Material to be photographed by the X-ray. I got it. Okay. But a specialized X-ray in cuts. Mm. So this computed tomography. Tomo, a cuts. cuts. Like cuts ah, ah. of X-ray, but specialized. The brothers have a video f or a visual for us to show when it's ready. We can uh, talk. Here it is. This is the GIT from the esophagus above till the end of it below. And showing the appendix on the right side, the most right side and lower down. The tiny... Uh, this tiny projection from the cecum. Mm, mm -hmm. Small, maybe two centimeters in children, up to 10 centimeters in some adults. Mm -hmm. And its uh, caliber may be between one or two centimeters, not more. Mm -hmm. But it, during infection, it's distended, maybe full of bus, full of infection, mm. and may rupture inside the abdomen mm -hmm. of the patient. Mm -hmm. Once diagnosed, we shall go into treatment. The most common and the most applicable treatment worldwide is surgery to remove the appendix. Appendic, append, uh, removal of the appendix may be done through an incision, a small incision, two centimeter or three centimeter, in the site of the vein, or done laparoscopically through two or three incisions, one centimeter each. Hmm. This is the appendix shown ah, in the picture, okay, okay. like small projection from the cecum. Cecum is a part of the right colon which is dilated. Uh, 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 what about, um, can it strike uh, anyone at any age, at any stage of life? It's very common in the middle age, mm. between the age of 15 or 20 till the age of 40. Mm -hmm. But it's rare, actually, in the children group or the elderly group, mm -hmm. but it's okay. And every day we see cases. Mm -hmm. But it's rare. It's less common. The most common is the middle age group. So if we're over 40, 
Uh, does it mean, and we haven't had this. Not immune. Not immune against it. I, I, does it mean that uh, if we were going to have it, that we would have had it by now? Uh, if you're 45, 50 years yes, old? Yes, even 60 or 70. Uh. Some patients. Mm. Should suspicion remain in the brain of the doctor? This is the mm. sight of the pain. He's catching his right lower uh, So it's very intense pain, huh? Not in all cases. Not in all cases. Even uh. renal colic pain caused by renal stones or crystals may be more and more severe hmm. and more and more sudden. But hmm. our pain is resistant with a special site and a special accompanying uh, symptoms. Um, okay, so we, we've been talking about appendicitis. Um, it's and cholecystitis, uh, we have talked. Is it, is it the, the w once you do surgery, uh, the success rate, is it a high success rate? Yes, yes, it's simple surgery, mm. done even by uh, less exper expertise surgeons. Um, for uh, every patient, it gives good results and uh, without uh, complications, except in very few cases. I have told you it's the most common uh, done case in the world in abdominal pain surgery. So there's something about re I, I don't know how to pronounce it re down pain. This uh, method of examination by the doctor uh, is uh, pressing the pain site uh, and relieving uh, releasing his hand, and this uh, lead to uh, vibration of the peritoneum or the coverage of the appendix, making more pain. Mm. But it's done by physicians, not the patient itself or a relative. Yeah. Organizers. Okay. All right. Uh, so I think. Uh, we, we, you know, we've been talking about uh, all these different s sources that can cause abdominal pain. Yes, yes. <laughs> we have talking now about two right-sided abdominal pains, mm -hmm. which are serious and need surgery. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them needs surgery, mm -hmm. not immediately, but within one week or two weeks or one month. The appendicitis needs surgery at the same time, it's an emergency. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is the method of removing the appendix or mm -hmm. the steps of removing the appendix. But there, has, uh, there are uh, much, com much causes mm -hmm. we should consider. Uh, when when uh, they perform this operation, are there any challenges or complications that arise? A, no surgery without complication. No surgery without complication. That's right. But the, the, the percent of the complications, the severity of the complications, could we detect the complications? Could we manage the complications? The successful management of complications, every item of this, is a good item to discuss. Mm -hmm. Most, most, uh, above 95% mm -hmm. of the complications of the appendix are simple complications and could be managed. Remain 5% complications, which may be harmful, but remember that it's an emergency, must to do operation. Mm. You, s you mentioned that sometimes, even on itself, before there's a surgical intervention, the appendix could burst. If inflamed. If it's, if it's inflamed. Yes. Is that a potential risk when you go in to remove much it? Risk, mm. Much risk. Much mm. risk. It's best. It will be due abscess inside the abdomen mm. and the inflammation of the surrounding organs and yeah. much adhesions between the organs mm. Mm. and makes the operation difficult and makes the outcome less successful. Mm. So when diagnosed, should be operated. Not mm. to be delayed. Some patients be afraid of surgery. You will open uh, my abdomen, especially females, and make a scar like this. I, make, I may take some treatment and uh, avoid the surgery. You may avoid the surgery, but under the supervision of your doctor. Not to delay surgery because you are afraid and will go to more grave complications, uh, which need more aggressive surgery and with more complications. I'm, I'm, I'm a little, I'm becoming fearful. I want to know what I can do to prevent this. Is it, uh, is it diet uh, induced or no, more genetic or? No, 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 non cause. No, no non, non cause, cause could be the surest cause to cause the uh, appendicitis. For cholecystitis, maybe some food changes, decreasing fat on diet, having more exercise, but genetics mm, still have a rule, and you cannot avoid this. Mm. Uh, also, obese patients and uh, cholecystitis. Obesity is a risk factor of cholecystitis. And also, rapid losing of weight mm. is a risk factor for cholestones. Mm -hmm. When patients lose weight rapidly, mm -hmm. it may go to uh, cholestones. And we, have see, we are seeing much patients losing weight rapidly and gaining weight rapidly. This makes higher risk for cholestones. Mm -hmm. uh, we are at the end of the program. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, and uh, inshallah, we can have you back for other uh, discussions uh, and uh, again thank you for being Thanks with us so doctor much. okay this is dr. Tamer 
uh, Rashdi. Uh, he is a consultant in surgery. We appreciate him being here to join, uh, join us to talk about the various types of abdominal pain. We hope, uh, inshallah, you can take something beneficial from this. We'll be back with more, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh. Uh -huh.